Hello Kerbal Space Program fans, Matthew Carr here, or as I'm known in some places, Sevian. Today I'm going to talk to you and show you my latest creation, an electric paddle boat. Boat is probably a generous term for this creation, but as you'll see, it does actually float, so the term's not wholly inaccurate either. Now, commencing the completely ineffective motion. Impressive, isn't it? Getting a whole two meters a second, and if I'm lucky. It's not the fastest thing around, but it is pure electric, powered by RTGs, so it can effectively run forever. Out enjoying it are Bill, Bob, and Shep Dread? Wait, where's Jeb right now? I feel, and Jeb seems to agree, that just sitting around near the space center is getting a little dull, and I might as well show off this craft somewhere where it can really perform interesting feats. I chose Eve as a target because it has liquid, but it has no atmosphere, so jet boats and similar things don't work. Hmm, I love watching that cherry glow fade from the nuclear engines. You can fast forward at 100,000 times normal speed from a craft on the ground, so I just take something at the launch pad. That allows me to fast forward the 148 days to get a good EVE intercept. As I burn for EVE here, you get to see something I like to call the space truck. There it is. Here I carefully do maneuvers so I can save a lot of delta V, which is ridiculous because as you see when I detach here, I have tons of fuel left. Tons. It's ridiculous. Luckily, Eve's atmosphere is super thick, so I can take a straight down descent angle and it slows me down, and then I only need a few parachutes despite the fact this lander weighs 80 tons. Then I simply ditch the parachutes, and I have the exact same paddle boat that I had on Kerbin, I was showing off earlier. Now I just need a destination. That land off to the left side there looks pretty good, fair distance, but achievable. So I pop off the decouplers, then I quickly tap fast forward and go back to normal speed. This is to reset the physics interaction between the drive wheels and the paddle wheel, otherwise they tend not to actually get a grip on it because they were once the same object. Next I raise up this protective landing gear, it's to stop the drive wheels from being crushed by the paddle wheel when you first decouple it. And then I'm ready to go. Oddly enough you hit backwards to make it go forward. This exposes a small annoyance I have with Kerbal Space Program that you cannot tweak the wheels to go the direction you want. You can reverse the steering, but you cannot reverse the direction, which is annoying for certain setups and configurations. Once this paddle boat gets started, it's really loud. Like, super loud. Just listen. I locked my back key down and just kind of wandered away for a while and made a lot of progress. This video is sped up a lot, so you can see the progress I'm making. And now you'll see what I consider to be the biggest problem with this vehicle, aside from the extremely low top speed. The wheels occasionally pop, and when one pops, almost all of them pop, as you can see here, locking up the entire paddle wheel. Now the only way to fix this is to have Jeb get out, run around, and fix every single wheel individually. That's why there's those little ramps there so Jeb can get around, although with Eve's gravity getting up those ramps is not as easy as it might seem. It can be a tad tricky and I frequently need to tip the whole boat back and forward a little to get the thing oriented correctly. And now, after another half hour with the back button held down, I'm reaching the end of the journey. There's a slight trick to actually getting out of the water, because the drive wheels need to be going backwards to make the pedal wheel go forward, but then the ground wheels underneath the vehicle you want to go forward. So I use the action groups to turn off the drive wheels at the same time I turn on the ground wheels, and hopefully I have enough momentum to get me onto the shore enough that my ground wheels get traction and I can pull me up on the land. And they usually do. You can see me speed up a bit here, and then they get some real traction and I come sailing out of the water smoothly. 
ending a fantastic little paddle boat ride. As I pan the camera around back the direction I've come, you can catch a glimpse of the garbage that I left behind, showing the distance that I've come, about two kilometers. Not bad for a pure electric vehicle. Now, all that's left to do is the most important mission on any planet, planting the flag. If you want to play with it yourself, I have the craft file down in the description below, and thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you've learned something, or at least found something amusing. This is Matthew Carr, signing out.